Today we're shooting at the Long Gong, which is a very small target, a long way away. The objective of the shoot is uh, twofold. One, of course, is just the personal achievement of being able to hit the gong and where our kind of benchmark was three out of six on, which reflects a benchmark used by the 95th Rifles back in 1805. The second element of the experiment is to see whether we can coach people with different levels of uh, skill onto uh, getting three shots on the gong out of six over a period of a weekend. Before we came to this weekend shoot, most of us have been doing a fair bit of experimentation with powder charges, uh, different types of patch types, for example this thick canvas here, different types of lube. Most of us independently settled on something like 70 grains of 3F powder with a uh, tightly woven thick patch and of course the round lead ball. From the experimentation it really turns out that uh, avoiding excessive burn through, this pinprick burn through on the patches is important. And once those issues of patch, lube and power charge have been ironed out, you know, the, the real critical issue is holding the gun, using the pistol grip and using the cheek rest as well. Shot one. Shot one was a near miss on the right. This is shot two. That shot was on. Yep. Some key issues, not only with the you know, getting the aim point right and the, the load right, but there are a couple of issues with holding the gun, which we find have been most critical in achieving a uh, an effective group. And it requires holding the gun up the front quite firmly, but using the pistol grip here to really force the the gun into the shoulder and then using the cheek rest here to get a, an additional point of contact on the butt and the whole gun seems to be set up to work like that. Shot four. Four was on. Shot five. Shot five was on. Shot six. Which was a miss. We've been shooting through the weekend and at a, uh, the Long Gong target and re-emphasize the Long Gong target is about 12 inches wide and maybe 34 inches high. Uh, we got uh, uh, an average of three shots out of six on. So that's pretty good going in what was actually uh, quite windy conditions yesterday in particular. So that shows shooting at 180 yards at a smaller than man sized target, weekend shooters who aren't training to do this week in, week out. A battalion of riflemen would have presented quite a deadly opponent to uh, their enemies at that range. And particularly as the enemies of course were armed with the smoothbore Charleville musket which was just not accurate for anything like that range. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yep.